Hey, Warren. Joe Bob, one half. Um, I'd just like to add in my two cents, you know, from a Jewish perspective. Um, first off, I believe in God. I don't like God very much, but I believe in him, and I fear him. Um, I believe that God created the, uh, the world. I don't believe he created it in six days. I personally believe that the beginning of the Bible is simply nothing more than a metaphor. Uh, Genesis, the first, like, maybe quarter to half of Genesis, up until about the time of Abraham, is mostly metaphor. So, like, for example, you know, six days is really six eons, six periods of time. People living, like, uh, now, this is actually a response to many of your videos. I'm just compiling it into one. Um, like, for example, Adam. Adam lived... Uh, I believe it was like 800, 900 years. I believe that's just a metaphor for someone who lived an extremely long period of time. Um, you know, most of the beginning of the Bible, I believe, is mostly metaphor. Though, for example, like a, like the flood, the flood of Noah. That's more. That's kind of a metaphor for a large flood. No, the flood didn't encompass the entire earth. But yes, there was a, peri a large flood that period of time that covered up much of the earth. Um, I believe God crea uh, created uh, basically all these laws that we have been discovering over the years. He created the law of gravity, which are, we have discovered. Um, he basically, most of the things he set in motion. He set in motion these laws, and he didn't necessarily put down each individual thing. He, uh, <coughs> he put down... Um, uh, you know, he put down laws into effect that would then carry themselves out over the millennia and just shape them kind of over the course of the years. Like, for example, I don't know, did he throw the meteor down or was the meteor just happened to be there? Or did he go back billions and billions of years when that meteor just happened to be going and put it so it would go? I don't know. But... I believe he does have a hand in most things. Um, I believe he's had most of a stand back look at the Earth for the last uh, so a couple thousand years. Now, one thing you said in one of your other videos that um, that you don't think that the Bible we have today is the same Bible we had two thousand years ago. Um, if you look at the Bible, now, I'm not talking about the current English. Bible, I'm talking about Old Testament, I'm not talking about the current English Bible that is a translation from Hebrew into Roman, or into uh, into Greek, Greek into Roman, or into Latin, then uh, Hebrew into Latin, and then Latin into Old English, Old English into Middle English, Middle English into New English, I don't, and then each time going back to the original Hebrew every once in a while, just to confirm things. No, I'm talking about the original Hebrew Bible. If you look at the Sephardic, the Fa Sephardic Jews are the Jews who lived in from Spain across North Africa into Israel and the Ottoman Empire. The Ashkenazic Jews are the Jews who lived up in Europe. They each have their own uh, Old Testament. If you look at the two Old Testaments, I'm, by each have their own, I mean just the style of writing, it's, you know, the, the handwriting, etc., if you look at the two Bibles, you put them next to each other, they are actually only eight letters off of the entire first five books of Moses, which are really the only books that are even said to have been written by God. But anyway, um, they are only eight letters apart, these two versions. So, uh, but that's just because the Jews are extremely meticulous at recopying letter for letter, you know, mark for mark, when they recopy the Bible, you know, no offense, but the non-Jews are not just not quite as uh, particular about that. <coughs> I'm sorry, my girlfriend gave me a cold. Ha! Ah, thank you. Um, anyway, but you know, I believe that almost everything that happens happens for a reason. I believe that that you know, you talk about creativity and how uh, the ingenuity of man uh, can proves that, that, you know, that God doesn't exist. I believe that God, at least for most people, God 
is the thing that inspires you to, no, no, it's not necessarily God, like, hmm, I like God. I know, I'll make a computer. No, no, that's not what I'm talking about. God is what create. he is the one who created creativity itself. And then left it up to us to create, to use it however we wanted to, whether we wanted to use it to create computers, technologies, you know, uh, printing presses, or whether we want to use it to create swords, guns, and nuclear bombs, okay? He cre made our creativity. <coughs> God, this is bad. But he left it up to us to use it how we found fit. Um, yeah, that's about my uh, uh, 99, uh, you know, 99 cents worth. Um, uh, I kind of forget the rest of what I was going to say. Um, but anyway, if you want to, uh, you know, put in your feedback on this, please, by all means. Um, I always enjoy a nice debate. Anyway, um, uh, this, that's about all. This is Joe Bob One Half, always preaching love and peace.